in terms of when we look at problems or difficulties really in prayer and in meditation in particular, they are going to happen. It is going to happen because yeah. we're human beings. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we, when we try to meditate, there can be things that are difficult for us. As I said, even yes, or not yesterday, but the, the previous uh, talk that we had. Mm. When we go to meditate, for example, when we go to silence ourselves, things can begin to surface that we didn't want to look at, for example, and then we're forced to look at. Sometimes we can be running away from ourselves, so there's truth about ourselves, and things can begin to surface. Or areas of woundedness can begin to surface when we try to meditate. We begin mm. to connect to previous experiences, for example. So there are things that uh, we need to attend to in mm. order to be able to but bring them into our prayer, yeah. to learn them to become part of our prayer. Again, like it's, you see, the thing is, once we become aware of what's surfacing, that's one thing, that's an awareness. But for it to become prayer is we actually bring it to the Lord. We talk to him about it. Mm. We bring it to him. We're entering into conversation with him and we're listening for his response. So that's where it becomes prayer when we enter into dialogue then with God in that yeah. sense. But there can be other things too. For example, there could be maybe something in our life, okay, that is not at, odd, is at odds with what God wants for us. Okay. And we may not want to face it and that may surface during prayer. So there may be something we need to face up to as well too when we meditate, when we get quiet. Or again, it could be a stage in the prayer where we're moving to a deeper prayer, where we're moving from the realm of the senses to the realm of the spirit. Wow. And once we move into the area of the spirit, the senses no longer are useful to evaluate what is going on because it's at the level of the spirit, not at the level of the senses, at feeling. And this is where the prayer becomes deeper and where God is actually giving us more, where we're receiving more, but it happens like in darkness. And this is where the perseverance is important. And that's where the question comes up. Am I in this relationship because of the feelings or what I get out of it? Or am I in this relationship for the long term, for the long haul, for the commitment I've made to the other person? This is true of marriage as much mm. as of meditation, of yeah. prayer. They're the same thing, because they're both about relationship. So sometimes maybe the feelings may be not there sometimes, for example, in a marriage, because something is going on. That doesn't mean you love the person any less. Mm. And sometimes when you stay there, and when you commit yourself, then new feelings come at a deeper level that you have for that person in mm. that regard. And it's the exact same with prayer. The problem is when we try to evaluate what's going on, because then we become the center again. Instead mm. of being present to God, we're wondering, well, what's happening to me? What's going, mm. We're occupied with ourselves rather than God. And that's when we stop praying, when we begin to focus back on ourselves. Francis de Sales has a wonderful image for this. He says, he says that, don't be like the bride who entertains herself by looking at her engagement ring without even seeing her husband who gave it to her. Yeah. Sometimes when, when prayer and meditation is moving uh, from the senses into the realm of the spirit, and it's, it's experienced as darkness really from our part because we don't mm -hmm. have the felt sense of things and God is at work. We're actually receiving more from God. We're becoming less active and God is becoming more active in it. So we're actually mm -hmm. receiving more from God. But what you will begin to discover is that Although you may not feel anything during the prayer, you'll begin to notice differences in your life outside of prayer. You okay. become more patient, for example. Wow. Okay, and things like that. You'll begin to see the difference. You'll see the fruit of the prayer in your life. You won't feel the difference, but you will begin to see the difference in the way you are in your life. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.